What's crackin' everybody? Welcome back once again to the definitive cereal tier list. For each episode, I take a cereal, put it on the tier list, so you know how good it is. I'm your host, Tucker, and this episode we're going to be doing Frosted Mini Wheats Maple Brown Sugar. More fall stuff with maple. Of course, last episode was another maple cereal with maple Cheerios, which managed to land down at a D, which is not great, but it's not as terrible as it could have been. But looking at other Frosted Mini Wheats, we've done four others, the original Strawberry Blueberry and the Little Bites Chocolate. Those have all also ended up at D's, um, with I think the original being the standout there. Um, so hopefully, instead of just falling in line with all those, this managed to take the good parts of the maple and the mini wheats and kind of elevate it, you know? Like maybe, hopefully the maple tasted more like the Eggo than the Cheerios, because I think that was a little better. But we won't really know till we get in. So let's do that now. And right off the bat, I want to see, I don't know if this is going to pick up, but there's a lot of uh, broken pieces in this box. Like, can you hear the dust? Like it goes for a solid half a second, second longer. So that doesn't code well. Okay, kind of maple at the frosted mini wheat. So I guess the mini wheat mini is picking up more from that scent, slightly stronger. Double piece. So not too different visually from other frosted mini meats. Got the frosted side and the normal side. Yeah, make it a little darker. That might be about it. Don't go too crazy with the milk. So these things can soak it up. Alright. Three and a half. Okay, that initial brown sugar maple taste, kind of good. It, it reminds me of the original frosted parts, so that's kind of nice. Um, does not last very long, the, the wheat part jumps in real quick, but what they're going for seems pretty okay. If you get a decent amount of frosting across the pieces you're picking up, it's got a pretty, pretty solid uh, maple brown sugar taste. Um, I think it is better than maple Cheerios were, um, but similar to that, it's not as present as you might want it to be. Um, but it's pretty decent, actually. Like, I think right now I like this more than strawberry and blueberry frosted mini wheats. So that's something. I didn't put much milk in there to kind of help them not sagify so quick, um, but it's time to taste what is still there. I think you pick up much more of the brown sugar than that milk than the maple. Like they're still both there. The brown sugar is more noticeable than it is on the pieces. Yeah, I'd say that's the main difference. This one's more maple than brown sugar. One's more brown sugar than maple. So it's pretty all right. Um, down with most of that taste, so. Yeah, nice, nice job, I guess. This didn't revolutionize Frosted Mini Wheats, but for what those are, I think this is a pretty solid entry. Looking at all the Frosted Mini Wheats, I'd say this is probably more or less equivalent to the original flavor. Um, and then strawberry, blueberry, and chocolate all fall under there. So it's a top of what we've done for Frosted Mini Wheats, um, but I don't think it necessarily 
goes too far beyond that. Um, comparing it to the maple Cheerios from last time, I think I like the maple taste a bit more, the like brown sugar maple combo they're doing here. I think that's a bit better, but I still prefer the pieces from Cheerios over the, the biscuits. That's right, that's the correct word. Almost forgot the biscuits that these are. So it's you know, pros and cons for each, but it, I, it's not necessarily leaps above that either. All that is to say that Frosted Mini Wheats Maple Brown Sugar is gonna get a D. Like I said, it's a solid entry into the Frosted Mini Wheats catalog, but I, I don't think it really shines too much brighter than the original, which was also a D, of course. So it, it kind of just stays in line there and doesn't quite move it up. Um, I think it's the, a similar issue that I've had with a lot of the Frosted Mini Wheats, where the taste is, is solid, but the, I guess the wheat part of it sometimes overrides the taste a bit more than I'd want. Like I'd want a bit more of a balance there and that might help, but I'm, I'm definitely like sort of looking forward to finishing this. Like the flavor's decent enough that I'll, I'll be happy to go back to it. It's just not gonna really shake up the list too much. Though I will say I'm pretty happy that when I poured that out, I didn't just get overridden with those specs that I was hearing. I'm sure the final bowl of this is gonna be a bit of a mess, but this first one survived okay. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe in the comments below. Post your general thoughts. Let me know if you've managed to get into the fall season with Frosted Mini Wheats Maple Brown Sugar. Uh, if you've also tried the Maple Cheerios this year, maybe you could kind of compare them below as I've done where, you know, this bit better taste, not as good a piece as Cheerios. So, you know, we can have our own pros and cons discussion of these maple cereals. Next week's gonna be some more fall stuff, but slight, slight remix from this week, just to give you a little preview of that. So if you wanna go ahead and guess what that is, might be kind of obvious if you sort of look at what we've been doing, but hey, go ahead and make that a fun game in the comments too. But until next time, stay delicious.